Hello, my dear friends of electronics. My name is Lauren Ferkel, and you're wondering why we are wearing this very uh, blue uh, clothes and, and why I need to have these special shoes and so on. Because we are today in the ESD compliant area. ESD means electrostatic discharge. Electrostatic discharge occurs when you are walking on the carpet, like example, and you have a very, very dry environment, especially in winter. I think everybody has already this feeling when you are touching metal object, you discharge, which can be up to 35,000 volts. Now, depends on the material, you can have different levels of this uh, uh, potential difference. Like you can see in this chart, you can occur on different material, different potential differences. The standard ESD pulse, it is according to a norm, it has a, a, around 61,000-4-2, a specific um, uh, curve, which is about one nanosecond uh, rise time. And you can see here on this graphic, when you have a, a discharging at uh, eight kilovolt, you can reach even 30 amp by four kilovolt is 15 amp, which can destroy your device or you can destroy the component himself. Today, the electronic devices and components get more and more smaller and very high density. And this high density is very sensible for uh, ESD. Sometimes you don't even realize that you destroy the, the, the device because the human body feels the electrostatic discharge beginning from three kilovolts. Uh, components can be destroyed already by 500 volt, which you will not realize it. Sometimes the components even above after uh, electrostatic discharge is still working, but you don't know how long. Definitely his lifetime will be shorter. How you can protect against ESD? First of all, you have to work in an ESD compliant environment. The second point is that all your devices and components must be package it with the ESD packaging, very specific ESD packaging like these tubes or when you are packaging components, you have to take care and be aware about the ESD sign. If you have a module or if you, ha or if you have more components, you have to use these kind of boxes as well. It must be always ESD protected. If you store components, have to use this kind of ESD specific bags, which are much more better and you will not destroy the component during the handling. And the last you have to use for your devices is the protection components like TVS diodes, which I will recommend watch my next video. See you. Bye bye.